and welcome to this quick tool review. This time around we have a really quick review of a new offering from Vivor. This our offering is a set of helicoil clones, let's call them, because they're not genuine helicoil brand by any stretch, but they come in a nice metal box that's been sealed airtight probably so it can be shipped from overseas without uh, corrosion however corrosion would only affect the tools themselves the insertion and removal tools because they are carbon steel and hardened but the uh, coil inserts themselves i want to call them helicoils but that's a brand name uh, the coil inserts themselves are actually 18.8 stainless steel like the actual helicoils this set comes complete with Allen wrench for the locking collar. The locking collar is to set depth on the helicoil. Every insertion tool has one. Comes with the Allen screw for that. Comes with the tool to break off the, uh, the drive pin at the bottom. There, let's see, I could probably show you on a big one and probably help. Comes with a drill bit and a tap for the specific uh, coil insert. So this is pre-notched, ready to be broken off. The drive tool grabs onto that, you thread it in, and then you snap it off using the tool to break off. Everyone comes with a bunch of coil inserts, fewer of the larger sizes, uh, more of the smaller sizes. They tend to be less expensive. So this, and it comes with instructions on how to insert them. So here's an interesting thing. This is a pretty straightforward set, very, you know, reasonable um, quality of tools. Everything seems fine, high-speed steel uh, taps, high-speed steel, probably not cobalt, yeah, high-speed steel drill bits, reasonably sharp, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill, but decent quality and functional, that's probably the word for it, functional set of tools, $29.99, 15% off. This is a brand name. This is a single-size set. Uh, this one was put together by a place called Midland Supply, but it's got insertion tools and it's got a, this one actually has a counter bore, two taps, uh, no drill bit, but two taps. And this set was $170. A set like this from Helicoil is about $600. So we're talking almost 20 times the price of this. I don't think the quality is gonna be 20 times better. Uh, let's pick one of these uh, coil types and see if we can insert one without any issues and see how it goes. We'll use, how about M6? That's a pretty common size. First step, grab the drill bit out of the M6 portion of the tool kit. Got a piece of half inch tooling plate here. Gonna drill a hole. See how well this, these drill bits function. This is only aluminum, but to be honest, the vast majority of my uh, coil insert projects will involve something like aluminum because that's where threads are most likely to pull out. I don't do a lot of cast iron part repair. That would be a good place for a lot of helicoils like in engine parts and things where you have to drill out a bad set of threads to go to the next size up. This kind of set is perfect for that and you got a nice variety of sizes too which is pretty handy. One thing that's not included with this set is a countersink bit but I always countersink my holes before I try and tap them. So it didn't come with that, but you'll have to provide that, but that's not a big deal. After you chamfer the hole, then you're gonna tap it. So I'm gonna use the power feed on my lay mill to just start the threads on this guy, and then I'll hand tap it the rest of the way. Gotta add some lube. This is not a power tap, but it actually, wow, it went in no problem. I don't even need to hand tap it. That was really, uh, really easy. Tap was plenty sharp. This is only aluminum, but again, I mostly use coils and aluminum. I always clean all my tools before I put them back. I don't like to leave chips in the flutes or anything, so I've cleaned that, put it back. Next step, I'm gonna open the helix package of helicoils, or coil inserts, sorry. Keep using the brand name. 
So if you wanted, you could set your thread depth using the stop collar, like there, for instance. You load your, your coiled insert into the tool, and the tool catches on that little part that sticks out. Get it vertically, set it vertically, and thread it in. These coils, much like Kila coils, are 18.8 stainless, so they won't corrode. Okay, that's inserted nicely to the depth stop. I'm going to reset my depth stop for storage in my case, although you don't have to, it will fit. But I like to leave things the way I found them. Last but not least, pop in your tool to break off the pin. And <clears throat> so this has a dipped rubber coating on it, but I think it's going to need a tap from something like a hammer because you can't just push. I was surprised that uh, it was like that because I didn't think you were going to be able to do that. There you go. Pops right off, though. Didn't have to hit too hard. However, that will eventually damage this uh, dipped coating on here. And we are done. There we go. And let's see how, uh, how the threads fit. Here's a quiet quality M6 uh, screw from McMaster Car. And it goes right until the, the coil ends. I wonder if you could thread it past that point or you are limited to the depth of the coil. I don't see it sticking out appreciably. So with a little bit of force, it makes it a stopping. It makes it like a nylock. It gets tight right at the point where you break off that little stud which I think must be protruding just a little bit. So let's see, any damage to our threads? Yes, it did. Okay, so that little threaded insert protrudes a little bit there. You might have to get a die grinder and try and remove it. If you can't, then you're limited to the depth of threads of the coil insert by itself, and you can't go past it because you can see here it damaged the threads on this. So that's a limitation of this set that you probably don't have with a genuine coil insert. So you're limited to the depth, so the length of these are the maximum amount of threads you can get in there. That's something to think about, or you're going to have to reach in with a die grinder and clean off that little burr that's sticking out that was left over. I'm trying one more to see if that's a common problem. Oh, okay. That was a one-off. However, getting one of these out can be a little bit of work. You can sort of pull them and unwind them. But uh, yeah, this one, no problem. That last one, maybe because I struggled to get the little break-off pin to break off. That is probably something you get with these that uh, you don't get the consistency that you get with, you know, a name brand one. But this set also is $29 with a 15% coupon uh, relative to five to $600 and uh, not even a thank you from the expensive vendors. So overall, I think the set is a really good deal. Uh, 30 bucks versus 600 means that I am willing to put up potentially with some missteps and trying to have to pull a helicoil out of a hole if I need the threads to go past like the first one here. Um, however, if you're doing something critical, that may not be an option because you may have to re-drill it after that and go to an even larger size, which also may not be an option. So if it's something critical, buy the expensive ones. Don't risk it. With these, it's probably, you know, a little bit of a risk that you might get a bad one like I got there one out of two. Um, that is always a possibility. Uh, however, the price difference means for the home gamer, if it's not ultra critical and you could potentially just fish the coil out of there if there was a problem, 
uh, I recommend a set like this. I think this is a very good deal, uh, especially when the alternative is $600. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time.